Hey guys! So why don't you, as you're jumping onto this video, drop in the comments some of your biggest struggles with maintaining clean eating. Any of your biggest struggles that come to mind. So this video is a continuation of the Prioritize Yourself series, a bridge version. Um, full version is available by going to patreon.com slash sarahfegley and um, the, it's in a podcast version. You'll get your own private RSS link on there. So clean eating, this is not going to be covering any specific diets or lifestyle uh, anything it's just the clean eating part um, so drop in the comments why what your heart biggest struggles are when it comes to clean eating so first what is clean eating it the most simplest version of it is eating food closest to the way that nature made it. Um, junk food as well as healthy. You like junk food as well as healthy food. Gotcha. Yes, that is a struggle. So um, clean eating, The when you guys go about doing this, you're going to end up having to mix and match different styles to find out what is best for your body because everybody is different and not everyone will be able to do the same exact thing across the board. So a great place to start would be drinking a gallon of water a day. Now this is going that I always found that hard whenever I restarted my clean eating journeys, but um, you really do feel a lot better throughout the day and that means you're going to have to cut back a lot on your coffee and tea in order to intake that much liquid but it is worth it you're also going to want to intake a less alcohol and what you do you're going to want a cut a serving of anti antioxidant rich red wine which means it's going to be those dark red wines and then you're going to avoid processed, fried, additives, preservatives, all of those things. And read labels on everything. If you don't like to read, only buy from the produce section because they don't have any labels because they are perfect. And next you're going to want to practice mindful eating. So you're going to want to slow down, not inhaling your food, not eating while you're doing something else. And then finally, my best tip to give you as far as where to start is get a list of foods that are clean eating approved. And so that way you have have it right there on your fridge and what I do is take clear tape and put it over top of the little where I would like to check them off as I need them. So as I'm running out I like to check them off and then just snap a picture right before I go to the grocery store so I can see right there okay this is what we're getting and don't even walk down the junk food aisle. So that is my biggest tip and if you want a list of foods it is available I have it available for members on sarahfegley.com along with a couple other recipes and uh, infographics. So what you're going to want to do is when you take that list to the grocery store and you get it home is get your family together and meal prep. It is really great way to have the family all feel like they are a part of the decision and what they're going to be eating they'll be more likely to eat it that way and it makes it go a lot faster than if it's just one person doing all of that prepping what I what we usually do is prep two times a week because um, we pre-cook all of our proteins and rice and everything just to throw into containers and it's just take and go for lunch and dinner it um, 
those only last about four days in the fridge so we end up doing it twice a week and if you are one of those people that wants to do it once a week and that is the most you're going to get out of it um, you can buy everything in bulk portion it out into the appropriate serving sizes that you're going to be using so if it's one person one person serving two people three people etc you're going to portion them out and freeze them flat on a tray put them in the freezer once they're frozen that they aren't going to be sticking together you can put them all in baggies in the serving sizes that you have for them portioned out into and just throw them back in the freezer so then all you have to do is pull it out and cook it um, it makes it takes a lot of the guesswork out and it makes it in your head it makes it easier for you than just um, going and picking something up quick so it really helps out with that another thing to do is portion out your veggies and fruits like that that you'll be using for any salads smoothies etc um, a great idea if you are one of those that really really likes the crock pot you can go on Pinterest and there are hundreds and hundreds of ideas for freezer to crock pot prep so that means you prep everything in a bag put it in the bag put it in the freezer and then like mark what it is pull it out the day that you want it and put it in the crock pot set the crock pot and that's it so that is another great way so you guys really don't have any excuses here as to I don't have time to make healthy things that takes you could just one day of prep and then you could prep them depending on how big your freezer is you could prep a whole month even at a time and then all you need is one day a month now it obviously it'll take longer than for prepping for a week but um, it makes it a lot easier so just figure out what works best for you and your family the next topic as far as dietary um, assistance <laughs> is holidays especially right now so you have two options when it comes to holidays and trying to maintain your clean eating one eat whatever you want on one day only and have your already have before that day have your whole week of clean eating meals prepped ready to go so then you have no excuse to take leftovers home you don't have to worry about prepping and you're you set yourself up for success and you don't have to stress about eating clean on that day and you don't have to worry about oh this one day is gonna mess me all up so it that is option one option two you can attempt to eat as clean as you possibly can also on that day so it just depends on how how serious you are on your goals like if you're really in a time crunch you might want to option two um, but option two what you're going to want to do is volunteer to bring your favorite vegetables as side dishes for the meals and you're going to make them as clean as possible while still letting others enjoy them um, and then you're going to fill up your plate with those veggies and eat all of those first and if there's a decently good protein that doesn't have a bunch of sugar added to it like glazes fill that up also on your plate before you move to anything else so that way you're full on all of the nutri the most nutritious stuff that you could possibly get and then you can move to all of your carbs from there and then you're gonna also want to make sure when that dessert come out comes out that you're not eating with your eyes and deciding oh I need to have a piece of that that you stop and think are you actually hungry because you're probably still full from the meal so don't even don't overstuff yourself um, a great way to not overfill yourself on food is to practice that mindful eating and slow down savor each bite really enjoy it it'll give your brain that time to process when you get full and then don't eat when you are full the last topic that people have been mentioning that is troublesome is mindless eating and that is 
most people, for most people, it is that eating in front of the TV, well, just eating snacks, chips and popcorn out of the bag. So my tips for that, you're going to want smaller packaging. I know you know that this already, that's like one of the biggest tips out there, but the reasoning behind it, smaller packaging, so dump it into a bowl, make sure you're doing it the proper way. You're gonna take the bag, put it into the bowl, that's the right serving size, and then put that bag back away in a hidden spot. So that way you have, you're less likely to just reach in and grab for it. And you're gonna take that bowl and you're gonna eat that. And then that will cause you, once you finish that bowl, it'll have you pause and you're going, during that pause, don't mindlessly walk and get more. You're gonna really process and think if you feel full or not. Um, so you can, you can utilize that pause. Another thing is to hide all of those temptations. Make them a little bit harder to get to than all of your healthier snacks. So put them in the back of your cupboards and then have all of your veggies and fruits prepped in little snack bags in the easiest spot in the fridge to reach for. That will help you with um, filling up on more nutritious foods. And then next for mindless eating is just remove the distractions altogether. When you're watching TV while you're eating or if you're working while you're eating, you don't necessarily consciously, you aren't consciously aware that you are eating or how much you're eating. So once you're done with what you're doing, you're not, it didn't really register with you that you actually already ate all of that you needed to and you're gonna feel like you're, you need to eat. Um, another thing is with the distractions, you could end up eating a lot more than what you intended because you aren't aware and your mind is not processing whether you feel full or not. So let me know if there are any other questions that you guys have as when it comes to dietary tips and tricks for clean eating, meal prep, holidays, mindless eating, anything like that. Or drop in the comments your favorite tip that you have. But that is all we have for now. If you want the full version of this and an easy to go podcast to listen to while you're driving or to listen to while you're meal prepping, if you don't enjoy meal prepping that much, go to patreon.com slash Sarah Figley. Sarah, I think it's from you, isn't it? <laughs> um, Patreon.com slash Sarah Figley, and um, when you get your membership, which is really easy to do, uh, it gives you the private RSS link for the podcast, and if you do need help um, putting that RSS link into your podcast app, you can go ahead and message me. I had trouble figuring it out at first. Sarah, I think it's like two or three years ago that I got it from you. <laughs> uh, probably two. But um, that is what I have. And next week we will go over uh, physical, physical fitness fit, um, tips and tricks on the Prioritize Yourself series. Yep, that's this one. I love it. It's my favorite. Blue is my favorite and pink. I don't have a not favorite, I guess. <laughs> but that's, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Catch the replay if you um, just jumped on.